Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shukra. So this video is all about luxury items that are not worth it. These are the luxury items, the designer items that you really do not need to buy. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. So first on the list is designer luggage. And I think we all know kind of what we're talking about here. We're talking about Goyard, we're talking about LV when it comes to designer luggage. From my research, it seems that buying designer luggage, luxury luggage is not worth it because of the fact that your luggage is going to be on a plane. It's not gonna always be handled quite nicely. Unless you're flying private, I think it's better off for us to not buy luxury luggage. This is not to say to buy high end or good quality luggage, but luxury luggage that has logos on it for the most part, I think that's where it's, you know, there's no point. And the fact that your luggage is gonna be rolling around and going who knows where. Next up on luxury items you do not need to buy is uncomfortable and impractical things. And I think we all know what I'm talking about here when it comes to uncomfortable. Uncomfortable shoes, uncomfortable clothing. Sometimes maybe these things are on sale and you're like, it's on sale, let me buy it. No, it's still not worth it. Because if it's uncomfortable, you're not gonna wear it <laughs> to begin with because you don't feel good in it. Also with the impractical, this kind of goes towards the items that you can't really use. Maybe it's a really small bag, you know, like the micro bags, that's an example. You can't use those bags for the most part because they don't fit anything. You'll just hold them, but you also need to have another way to carry the things you need to carry as you're going out. So this is an example of an impractical item. And we all know impractical items also go on sale. So overall, I think when it comes to uncomfortable and impractical things, these things usually go on sale or you're able to get a really good deal on them. And then we're like, hey, it's designer, it's luxury, why not buy it? but it's not worth it. Next up on luxury items you do not need to buy, designer collaborations. And I think we all know these collaborations come out hot and heavy and everyone's all for them. They go quick, everyone wants them. But then a couple months later, the following year, you see it and you're like, that's so outdated. I think with designer collaborations, they're really a timestamp for the moment. And once that time is over, you're not gonna wanna be seen in that collaboration. I don't think there's anything wrong with designers collaborating on products, but I think overall, maybe when it comes to the price point, they should just have it at a lower price point because they know these things are not timeless. I think that's the central thing here. These are not timeless collaborations. Next up on luxury items not to buy is decorations. And I will say I am guilty of participating in this. Buying decorations that are from luxury houses, I feel like there's really no point I think buying them for the most part you can go to high-end good quality decorating uh, stores and get really amazing timeless in a sense and quality like decorations I think with luxury decorations it's not really more about the decorating aspect it's just the aspect of having that logo in your house or something like that Okay, let's move on to repeated variations of duplicates slash versions of items. So this is basically saying, let's say you have Oran sandals and you have like 15 of them. Let's say you have um, hmm, like the Dior slingbacks and you have like a thousand colors of them. It's just saying, stop buying the same product, but in different colors or variations. I would say this can also be applied to the classic flap. With the classic flap, you do not need to have 25 colors of the classic flap. I think having different types of bags is better than just having the same type of bag in a different color or variation. And I think it really helps expand your wardrobe and your style as well, instead of just repeating things over and over again. But of course, if that's what you like, then go for it. Again, I'll just say this video was not meant to, you know, tell people what they can and cannot buy, but just to let you guys know, hey, some of these things probably aren't worth it. Next up is a big thing for me, and it is skincare. I know people think just because it's coming from a luxury or a designer fashion house, the skincare is gonna be amazing and great. Please do not ever think that. Skincare comes in all shapes and sizes, and good skincare has science based evidence showing that it works for you and it helps you. Please do not just be glamored by the fact that this is from Chanel of uh, facial wash. Please do not do that. When it comes to skincare, please take the time to research and look at the skincare based upon how it's gonna work for your skin. 
So that is very important. Next up, we have costume jewelry. And I'm also guilty of this one as well. I do have designer costume jewelry. And I know the issue is because of the fact that it's not real gold, it's not real pearls, it's not real diamonds. Why are we paying this much for this? Essentially, we're just paying for the name. <laughs> and the big thing here we all know is the Chanel CC earrings. And I think for the most part, these designer houses know that people just want to be associated with them. People just want their things. And unfortunately, that's what hikes up the prices when it comes to their costume jewelry. Next up, we have trendy bags. And for this one, I'm going to say that this is this is a tricky one. When I was doing my research, I was surprised to see this, but not at the same time, because we all know trendy things do not last forever. There's a difference between something that's trendy and something that's classic. But the thing is, trendy things can also become classic things. So that's kind of why I'm like, I can't really rule out this as you know not being worth it. We can always look at different examples throughout time of how a bag was trendy and then it became a classic. So I think for this, really, if something is trendy and it's not your style and it's not something you would normally go towards, do not buy it, okay? You do not need to buy it. But if it is something that goes towards your style, something you resonate with, something you would buy regardless if it was trendy or not, then I would say it's definitely worth it for you to buy it because you're gonna wear it and use it. So I think that's the rule of thumb. When it comes to trendy, do not get glamored by it just being everywhere and everyone wearing it. Just stick to your own style and preferences. Okay, so that is it. These are the items, the products that I've done my research and seen that people are saying it is not worth it to buy at a luxury slash designer level. Of course, this list is not a statement. It is not a fact. If you like buying all these things, then continue buying all these things. Everyone is different. If there are some things on this list that you think do not belong, let me know. If there are some things you thought should be on the list, let me know as well. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If this is your first time watching, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and come back for more videos. Bye.